Welcome to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is Grand Arena. First matchup, week three, season 21. Last round, my opponent, Boone, beat me because I treated the executor like it's unbeatable. And when I approached his roster, I goofed around and I did a bunch of solos and did a bunch of testing that proved to be not the way to approach that matchup. So we took this bad batch this bad batch matchup that we lost. We tested out some other things that worked out fine. Then I attempted a Wampa solo, which didn't go my way. And then I tested a bunch of teams against this smuggler team where I threw in Mandalorians, Zam, and neither of those worked. Then we had a crash with blue stacks where we had some sort of no button bug with a malevolence and then we needed to take multiple attempts in order to get through his his empire fleet uh, with other fleets after we lost my best fleet now my opponent boone on the other hand he had a very good run he took things more seriously than I did and handled me no problem. The executor was able to stop him one time, but not completely. And treating the executor like he had no way through was a mistake. So for the rest of Grand Arena, I am now going to be playing with my back up against the wall to make sure that we do not miss Kyber for the first time. That is what we are looking at from last round. This round, however, we have... Today's opponent is Sleepy Joe. He has SLKR and don't even know what he's using. Maybe this is a, a spender. We'll take a look in a second. This is kind of outrageous that he's at rank 51 with this fleet. Unless he just swapped that in. Maybe he swapped that in to fall. I don't know. I guess I could probably throw in a horrible fleet in my fleet arena. And I'd probably only fall to 30. Because I think it's dead above rank 30. So maybe that's what we're seeing is something like that. Now... What the hotbot shows is this. I have a lot of advantages here. And I'm recording this after the Relic 9 news was put out. So I, as we break this down, I'll kind of allude to some of that. I need to put out a talk video, but I am traveling. and I'm Not really on vacation, but I am traveling right now. Uh, so he has... Half the lifetime banners is me. Very little clears, very little undersizes. Probably not a very active Grand Arena player. Zetas, though, tells me that he's been around for a long time. You can't fake Zetas. And you can't spend your way past them. So to have 129 Zetas, he is a longer time player. So it's... That is... I know that his fleet can't be explained by him spending his way to SLKR. When we look at the mods, he's matched completely on the six dot mods and he's actually not that far off from my speeds. So that's pretty good, but not, not anything that surpasses me. When we're looking at the relic levels, what he has done is bring all of his relics to at least tier four minimum and he has a ton of tier 7 relics. And this here is a really good example of why Relic 9 does not worry me. Grand, in Grand Arena, Relic levels... Going after Relic 9 is not going to hurt you. All of this is relative. It's relative to your own roster. You're going to be going up against players with GPs that are relative to your own. And that can be made up with lower relic levels or it can be made up with like either a bunch of lower level relics or a fewer number of high level relics. And 
having the bunch of lower level relics is going to be more advantageous than the smaller number of high level relics. Now, if you inflate that high level relic number, you're going to be hurting your matchups. And that is what's going to happen with relic nine. It doesn't change things. This is why I say relic, uh, that progression systems are a good opportunity to be rebalancing your roster. And that's the same thing with relic level nine. Now, it will hurt you in squad arena, and that's why I also say you can't, you can do well with both, but if you want to be doing, if you want to be finishing first in squad arena, that is going to be affecting your grand arena matchups. I don't care about that. I'm happy with a top, I prefer top 50, that's what I'm getting right now, but I'm probably going to be pushed into the top 100 of my squad arena. I'm fine with that. It's a 50 crystal difference. I'm not fine finishing outside of the top 100. So I might be putting on a few more Relic 8s than I currently have. But that's what to keep in mind. We'll talk more about it as we go through this. Uh, I've got cats. I'm on my way to Mox. Yes, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get into that when we're playing. So Jedi Master Luke to his Essel Care, so I have the advantage there. He has only a gear 12 gas. Weak JKL. Watt's not done. And low stars on both of the fleets. So this one is one where we are going to be winning. Now when we jump here into blue stacks, let's get on with it. I don't have a lot of time. And we're not gonna be having fun anymore. We're gonna be playing seriously using our strongest teams because we have very recklessly dropped two battles this two two matches this grand arena. Which puts Kyber in third, because I don't think I can drop three and still get Kyber. So here's my defense. This is pretty much a version of what we've been doing the entire time. My one worry is I did put gas here, and I wonder if we would have wanted to have gas to counter SLKR, because he did put SLKR on defense, which tells me since he He's probably not going to attack me to begin with, but so that's what I threw on defense. Here's what he did. I, I didn't even, we're going in blinds. I didn't have the time to prep or look through his roster when I set down my defense. I didn't even play. Yesterday was the first time in, I, I don't know, how four years that I missed out on dailies. I did play a tiny bit. I didn't do my arenas. I didn't do anything. So he did put down a strong defense, but it's a defense we can get through. Actually, I'm kind of worried. This is going to get sloppy. Because Jedi Knight Revan is going to be a problem. because I basically need to get through SLKR without using CLS. CLS might be my best JKR counter left. So we need to, like, I, I clicked on the right thing, right? Yeah, so normally I would be going into here with gas. Hopefully, Jedi Knight Luke is enough for this. Now, who do I bring in for the final slot? I wonder if we bring in Yoda. Normally, we have gas. I'm probably not going to be using Yoda elsewhere. But... See, gas gives us survivability and damage. I can either add only survivability or I can only add 
damage, but we can get ourselves faster to the ultimate with Yoda. So that's, that's the route we're going to take. times I've shown a Jedi Master Luke against SLKR Matt. So I think usually, maybe in 3v3 we have, usually, usually um, he's saved for offense. All right, we're going to mark Sith Trooper and just get him out so we don't have to worry about any big hits from him. guess I'm going to throw it on Yoda, just because he's going to be taking so many more turns. turn meter and we'll get faster to a master's training. We're going to get as fast to the in, what was it, inherited teachings, is that what this is called? Yeah, inherited teachings, we'll get there as quickly as we can. Advantage now. I know I should be clicking on other people, but it's fine. One of the things I'd like to do at some point is figure out how weak of a Jedi team I can put together and still beat SLKR. Just being able to have more flexibility as I go up against those kinds of teams is in my interest. All right, so I wish I had Nest. I would just love to Nest that. Right? Newt's on defense, right? I can't imagine what else would be here. Is Newt out on defense? Do I have my nest? Wonderful, let's just do it. Oh, I don't like doing this with with Kylo. This gets a lot scarier with Kylo. I shouldn't have done this. Yeah. 
this, this is going to terrify me. But when I see Phasma, I just, I want to use Ness. But usually I'm smart enough to pay attention to whether or not Kylo is on the field. Can we land a stun here? Good, 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 good. Oh, see, this is terrifying. I need... Can somebody get knocked out here? If we can get rid of Fox, I'll feel a lot better about this. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, that should take... What? That should have been enough to take him out. This is taking a long time. Yeah, see, this, this is why I needed to pay attention if Kylo was there. Oh my god. All right. See, this is why going, being like, being seduced by the siren song of solos is so dangerous. All right, well, we'll see. Stop having fun. This is supposed to be a no fun record. We're doing only boring things today. All right, what am I? What am I doing? I guess I could. Do, I could do troopers here. Do that. Yeah, let's just do that. This is a weak bounty hunter team. Although, I have no idea if he's going to use Night Sisters or not. I, the Omega Bot was something I did not look at prior to this match. Or prior, I didn't make any plans while approaching this, this team. Maybe I should have brought in Veers though. I mean, it's the turn meter from Veers is real nice. An AOE would have been nice. A snow Trooper would have been real nice. That I don't like. I'm glad we had days on them. Alright, let's get that death mark. We can take out Bosk pretty quickly now. 
There goes Bosk. Boba Fett's the only real threat here. And once he's gone, there's nothing left. Dango's gonna steal some more banners though. Just no, yeah, right there. Right there. It's a bigger hit than I was expecting from Gideon in the moment. to temptation like I did. Did I do Geos? No, this, the, I'm always so tempted to use Geos up against these weaker relic teams, but, but for my Geos, it's pretty reckless. I gotta look at this top territory. I have I wanna make sure I'm not pulling away counters that I should be using there. So we're gonna probably use CLS against Jedi Knight Revan. Palpatine here I have no idea for. Oh, we need a Padme Padme, we're probably going to have to use Treya. And that'll get scary. And then we got Kylo. We actually have less than I thought. That's why I would like to not give up some of these other teams. So if I think about it. I really wish we could have soloed that First Order team. I just got to find that sweet spot of where we can use a team that that's not very good that can still win it. I'm thinking like Night Sisters. I think we're gonna have to use like smugglers. Or not smugglers, uh like if we use Beskar Mando. We can do I'm just gonna have to use the best car management. I wanted to do something different with Quill and IG-11 today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We could probably just do Mandos. Why, no, see if Mandos had any recovery, see that's why I have to bring in Quill and IG-11. The tanking that they're going to do, the recovery that they are gonna do is why they're coming in. Bo has shared stats on the unique. She's still great as a, relatively speaking, she's still great as uh, a supporting character, not a lead. Uh, Candorous is just awesome and I love all the hits he's gonna be doing. We might lose a couple of these characters though. If this preloaded turn meter causes me some problems, this is going to be real dumb. Alright, let's make sure we don't lose anybody. I 
I want you to taunt. See, I don't want to use this AoE right now, but we're going to. Is there any reason for me to do this? Give me some dazes, please. All right. Let's do some of this. Let's do this. Yeah, we don't have retribution here, so we can... Although Candorus is going to be helping out Kylo a bit. Um, does this stun or just shock? Okay, I can get a stun. Oh, I should have done that. AoE. I still have low rel low relics on Bam, and I think those are good enough. He'll get some. We're not gonna get close to any banners, right? Or wait, maybe. No. All right. Let's see what's on this back wall. Maybe I can be seduced again into more solos. Geos, we got Wedge. Alright, this is weird stuff. We will do Rebel Assault again. My Rebels will beat his Rebels. Because as much as I say I'm going to take things seriously, I can't do it. <laughs> Although this is not like a risky one. We have a massive relic advantage. All right, Rebel Assault. I wonder if that means anything to the younger players. Because for me, Rebel Assault was pretty sure that was the first Star Wars game I ever played. Unless maybe it was like Super Star Wars for the SNES. But I, I don't think I got that till later. I think, I think Rebel Assault, or, or, I'm pretty sure Rebel Assault was my first Star Wars game. It's the middle ability that's the revive, right? Or did I just waste a revive? Yeah, I did the wrong ability. Because I don't know these kits. Because why would I? I? One thing I did do, though, is I fixed the mods on these guys. They're way faster than... I, I was using some bad speeds doing Rebel Assault before. Oh, you know what? 
It would really suck if Captain Han brought somebody back. I have to use Palpatine and Vader here, right? Do I have other dumb things I can do? We don't re we don't need to worry about Poe and Finn. His relics are all over the place. So Poe and Finn, we can come up with other things. I wish I had my Jawas right now. Jeez, I can't believe I'm in a position where I wish I had Jawas. All right, we we know we're gonna Kylo this. Forgetting how the alphabet goes right now. In my head, I, I've made more elaborate the being seduced by the siren song of solos and crashing upon the rocks of my own hubris. It's not that it's going to happen in this match. This is safe. This one is very safe. And we've already won it. These guys just haven't figured it out yet. Oh, we got knights. I gotta keep in mind that I have knight sisters still. I can beat the geos with my knight sisters. Oh, we're just, that's what we'll do. This is one of the things that I like about changing things up, is just reminding myself about other solutions. I should have done the other ability. I need, I need my protection back. I might finish with lower banners because I'm being dumb. Yeah. Those ability blocks are going to cost me banners. A banner. So we pretty much have to do Treya up against Padme. CLS we have to do against SLKR. Or not SLKR. Up against, let's just do that one right now. At least it's a weak Jolie. That's like the relic that matters. Like you can get a, like what is the relic levels on this? Relic seven JKR is really unnecessary. I need to get better at the squad selector. But what I don't like about the squad selector is how far I need to scroll down. And I know that at least my CLS team is at the top. That's why I do it for CLS and nobody else is because of lazy. Actually, it's not. It's more work to do it the other way. It's, you know what it's like when you're driving home during rush hour and you could just stay on the freeway and make some normal, pretty good time or this here. Or you take surface roads and you're actually taking longer but it feels like you're making progress. And 
And you can guess which route I do. I am a surface roads guy. What? Did we trigger savior already? I mean, I he's gear eleven, and we, I mean we could have triggered savior. Or does, is he? I'm confused. We must have triggered savior in that opening moves. Cause that's not Zeta ability, right? Like you just get to do that. All right. I was more worried about that than I needed to be. He had, he's missing, on all of these teams, he's missing like one relic that is really important. In this case, it's Jedi Knight Anakin. Like, Jedi Knight Anakin's really important. He does have these guys pretty fast, though. Alright, I gotta remember how I want to do this. Yep, swap in here. I'm throwing on the isolate. I want that on Kenobi. See, that's the type of thing where if he had... If he had uh, relics, it would have been a lot scarier. I'm just going to be annihilating Padme, so I'm not concerned about hitting her right now. Those would just be wasted hits. What I'm hoping is to get Ahsoka into... Let's, let's fracture Shakti, I guess. I was hoping to get her into the yellow so we could overpower her. This is remarkably easier with a gear 12 Anakin. Yeah, throughout this, he's just missing like one character, like Jolie in that Jedi Knight Revan fight. I should probably just keep hitting her. She's going to take a turn and heal up. No. Alright, we got it.
Okay. Now Palpatine. All right, we're gonna Night Sisters, so we can. This is this is risky. This comes down to speeds. Who's faster? One oh two. He's probably faster. These are not characters I've particularly well modded. One, oh, I'm, I might have the advantage. All right, 102 and 92. One, oh, two and 92. So we are looking at. Yeah, I got advantage on Vader, so I know my Vader will be going first. Palpatine. Yeah, we've, we, we're, we good. We good. Is that the way I want to do Is there a team I'm forgetting about? No, this is how we, we got to do it this way. I don't know who else would work out in this situation. And he's going to have the better team. Wait, 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 what's my Sith situation? They update Maul's artwork? Okay. Do I want to do Sith? Alright, wait, 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 wait. wait. We got a back wall. Do I want to use Newt on that back wall or not? I think maybe we do Palpatine last. We'll do Night Sisters against Geos. God, I want to do like a no. Django Solo would be done. Dumb. Django Solo would be dumb. We'll do Night Sisters right now. Geos are one of the teams that... This is why I don't like to rush relics when new things come out. Because you don't know how long a team is going to be good for. Geos are really easily countered. All these relics... The ones on the pilots are fine. And he... It, it's... He doesn't have the... Again, he's missing like the one relic that matters... M not, Matters a ton. Like, it doesn't have Brood Alpha Relic, but you have Poggle Relic. It's just like, it's weird. Oh, I, I gotta be careful. I need to get my revive. Alright, there we go. I had to handle some work, and now Grand Arena is almost over. We might have some 
ambient noise that I can't really deal with in my current locale and amount of time left. So we're going to just have to work with it and maybe I'll have to go mute if things get loud. But we have the bulk of Grand Arena handled. Oh, I should probably close down CAD. Not a good thing to have open and blue stacked and all that. Is that going to help my connection? All right, that helped a little bit. Uh, really should restart the computer, but I don't want to have to edit this video. So we're going to work with it. Uh, this might get sloppy and slow. Alright, we're going to bring in Probe Droid. I'm not going to love who I'm bringing in for this, am I? I think we might be better off with Sith than Empire. We'll use Dooku, I guess, and Marauder. Although I probably should have brought in Shore Trooper. I'm basically just counting on my speeds to give me the edge here. little concerned with the CPU usage, which is at 23%, which is when things get a little choppy on this machine. All right, we got the edge and speed. We do our force crush, our massacre. Do I wanna chuck this? No, we're going to go for ability blocks. I'm going to be a little conservative here. Because he's got a number... He's got advantages in all the gear. I just have the mod advantage. Gear and relics, I should say. I'm using them semi-interchangeably. Alright, I'm a little worried about triggering... So, normally I would do Force Crush... I think I'm going to chuck the saber because I see that's what I was concerned about. All right, we're going to throw in a shock. See, I was concerned that Force Crush would have um, triggered the taunt from um, uh, the Royal Guard. All right, we're fine now. We got the control we needed. Getting a shock here would be perfect. All right, now with shock over there, we don't have to worry about guard being annoying. We're just taking care of Palpatine while he's near death. Royal Guard's basically done, so we'll take him out too. No, we're good. We're in the clear. You know what? I know I could chuck the saber, but... Just being cautious. He's under stun. He's about. He's. You know what I mean.
All right, so I, I think we're just using Newt for this final team. Because they're good. I'm surprised I didn't put them on defense. Come on, man. Really, I just want Django. I feel like the weapons tech on Django is redundant. And we'll do it, but... Normally I'd be putting it on Dooku. Putting it on Poe, giving him the extortion, because he's about to take the turn. I could have done it on Ray as well. Probably should have done it on Ray. But Poe's the one with the relics, and he's going to be around longer. I wanted the person with the most turn meter, because that just will either start spreading the extortion, or give us... I don't know, the taxes or whatever it's called. Gives our gives us our payment. Mm, I thought that would do more. Finn's the only, I'm just going after Finn because he's the one that annoys me. The rest of these guys are easy. Having the Poe relic is really weird. Like he might be working on, on Ray, but with all these other characters at gear 12 or gear 11 even on the case of Ray and I think the trooper here, yeah, the trooper. It's, you're so, so far from Ray that this Poe relic is pretty useless. Like, unless they're like using, I mean, even if it's the Radis, because Ray's a pilot and uh, the resistant pilot himself. So it's like, why have this relic? He's like, no good character. Negotiator and what? Okay, whatever. I completely forgot about feet today. I hope I accidentally got some. wish in my apartment back home I had a corner like this that I could film in. I like the look that it gives me here with just the two gradients of white. But I'm also working on a background for the future for when my channel gets monetized. I've got I've got plans.
I'm kind of playing this mindlessly and stupidly. I want to get onto the new account before we run out of time here. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's move on. What am I doing? Okay. Yeah, let's just use Empire. No, let's do Rebels. Rebels will be faster. Come on, man. I guess I should talk about the post. I, I got distracted with everything else, but what I I was gonna talk a little bit about Relic Nine and everything is my thoughts and positions on it. And I'll make a talk video about this because I, I know a lot of people don't have stopped watching by now. But my general thoughts when it comes to any progression systems are like I like them in the game. They do, they mitigate some of the problems from having to relic bad characters for Galactic Legends or, oh, wait, wait a second, I gotta pay attention now. You took out my ships? How did, oh, they're all relic that's right. Well, I did not plan for this. We're gonna have to do this. I did not factor in how good your bugs are. We dead. We lost. I'm just quitting. I don't. I don't, I don't want all this turn meter. I can't believe that. This is why I want to relic my Biston and scare Rebel Pathfinder. Especially as it, it's going to become more and more of a requirement. And I've gone up against a Relic Biston once, and it was terrifying. I know other players have to deal with it a lot more often than I do, but where I am, it's a rare thing to have a Relic on that character for my opponents. But in terms of progression systems, when it comes to Grand Arena, not a big deal. I like them, it allows you to rebalance your rosters, and players who rush after them, just like my opponent uh, today who had a bunch of Relic 7s, those high level relics hurt you in matchmaking because what matters is the quality of your roster overall. And when you have a bunch of those high level relics, without having the rest of your roster built up, you're just hurting your matchups. I just want to spread these target locks around. It's just, it's just insurance. I 
I don't feel like pulling back the turn meter is going to do anything. It's just... I don't feel like that's doing anything either, but... Maybe the defense up helps. In terms of how we get Relic 9, I think that's going to cause some problems. I like that they're rebalancing Territory Wars. They have not addressed cheating in the game, and Relic 9 and Territory Wars as a reward, and now Relic 8 materials as arrow magnifiers being in there as well. There's a lot of incentives now to cheat in Territory Wars that didn't exist before. And as of right now, there aren't the means within the game to catch cheating as easily in Territory Wars. It, really you're relying on your guild as a whole to police themselves to eliminate cheaters from their own ranks and that's that's risky
We're running out of time. Had a bunch of ambient noise where I couldn't talk and narrate what I'm doing. And now I'm on autoplay because of how little time I have left in this match. Hopefully we can get clear at least this territory. Unfortunately, we ran out of time and I had to go mute a lot to round out that final battle. There's a construction and a bunch of other stuff that made it pretty impossible to record when uh, I had to do the Grand Arena. Obviously, I ran out of time, but we still got the win. Thank you for watching. Be safe out there, everyone, and be excellent to each other. This is Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes.